Hello and welcome back to the Micro Learning Institute. In this short tutorial we look at a question called Epsilon from the June 2012 Diploma in IFR examination. This question deals with the reclassification of a cash generating unit to held for sale. Now we know from IFRS 5 that when we reclassify a cash generating unit to held for sale we remeasure it to the lower of two valuations. Firstly, the carrying amount. Now in this question we're told that the carrying amount of the cash generating unit prior to reclassification to held for sale was $40 million. And the other amount is the fair value less cost to sell. And in this question we're told that the fair value less cost to sell at the date of reclassification was $28 million. Now as $28 million is lower than 40, we now need to impair the carrying amount of the cash generating unit by $12 million in line with IAS 36 impairment. Next question is how do we allocate that impairment? So prior to impairment the cash generating unit was held at uh, its net current assets had a value of 5, it had property plant and equipment at 25 and it had goodwill um, at $10 million so the total carrying amount was $40 million. As we're aware we need to impair it to a value of $28 million, so consequently we need to impair the carrying amount of the cash generating unit by $12 million. Now the question is then, how do we allocate this uh, impairment to individual elements of the cash generating unit? Now from IAS 36 we're told that we first allocate against goodwill. Now we have $10 million of goodwill, so we write that amount down from $10 million by $10 million to zero. And of course we have a remaining $2 million of impairment to allocate and that we allocate against the carrying amount of property, plant and equipment. Reducing the carrying amount of property, plant and equipment from 25 to 23. The value of net current assets is not affected by the allocation of the impairment. Now, next up we're told that there is a reversal of the impairment and at year end we're told that the carrying amount of the cash generating unit at 28, that at year end the management determine that the carrying amount can now be reassessed at 31 million dollars. So now we've got to consider how in line with IAS 36 we can reverse the previous impairment. Firstly, IAS 36 specifically prevents the write back of any goodwill. So we cannot uh, restore any of that $10 million of goodwill that existed prior to impairment. However, IS 36 says we can write back any impairment to property, plant and equipment. Now we, we only impaired property, plant and equipment by $2 million, so we can write that back uh, to $25 million, which was its value prior to impairment. And of course again, the value of net current assets wasn't affected by the impairment, so they still stand uh, at year end at $5 million. So however you see, at, at year end, the carrying amount of property, plant and equipment can be re reinstated to $25 million and the carrying amount of non-current assets to 5, but that just gives us a total amount uh, of $30 million. So even though the fair value of $31 million has been recognized by management, we can only restore the impairment to a total carrying amount of the cash generating unit of $30 million. Now let's look at the Statement of Comprehensive in uh, Income Extract that relates to this transaction and we're told of course that the profit after tax for the year prior to any impairment or restoration of the impairment was $3 million. We now need to recognize the full amount of the impairment uh, that is from $40 million to $30 million not 31. So the full amount of the impairment sees uh, an expense to the P&L of $10 million giving us a revised statement of comprehensive income loss of seven million dollars. Thank you very much for looking at this short tutorial from the Micro Learning Institute.